Okay, don't sneak up on me like that, all right? Because clearly I did not see you there. But hey, how you doing? <laughs> you good? Oh, that's good. That's good. That's great, actually. I love to hear that. Oh, me? Oh, nothing. I'm actually finally getting in the birthday spirit with three days left, but happy Tuesday. <laughs> So, hey, what's up, y'all? Day 15 of the Highs and Lows Video Diaries. My birthday is in three days, this Friday. And, um, I don't know what happened, but I have a lot more enthusiasm. I think because I finally um, finalized my birthday plans. So now it's like I actually have something to look forward to. But, um... <laughs> yeah I'm excited I'm excited but I'm also like still feeling like bleh to it like it's whatever but at the same time I am excited you know what I mean um today today feels a little different in the sense that like I really do think it's because I actually have plans finalized for my birthday, but it feels lighter. I can't articulate it, but today feels calm because it feels like yesterday, but it still feels lighter and like warmer. And I don't know. I'm sorry I keep messing with my hair, but it's like when I turn my head a certain way, it looks, I don't know. This hair is getting done tomorrow. I don't know what I'm, oh yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair yet. I think I'm gonna do a twist out because Saturday, I don't wanna wear my hair out. I already know how I wanna wear my hair for Saturday. So for Friday, the actual day of my birthday, I'm not sure yet, but I think I'm gonna do a twist out tomorrow, which of course will be in my birthday prep vlog. I have so much to do, which maybe I should start today, but Let's be real. Neurodivergent baddies don't ever start things exactly when they say they are unless they either have no choice or they force themselves. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, like, I don't know. I just feel hopeful. I think another thing is that, like, I've been in such a funk because of my birthday well I've, I've i've been in a general funk because of my um current circumstance but also i was in like a slump basically this whole month and it's harder because it's like this year both my siblings are having milestone birthdays and i'm not there for them which makes me sad but at the same time it's like it's life it happens and stuff and um it's only ironic because my cat is going to the vet for both. Like August 4th was my little brother's 18th birthday. Wolf went to get his shots. Then my little sister's birthday is September 7th. Wolf's birthday is September 6th. And on September 7th, he's going to get shaved and get neutered or spayed, whichever one is for cats. But yeah. So it's like, it's for good causes. But like, I still wish I was there because milestone birthdays in general are very important to me. And my my siblings milestone birthdays. Are you freaking kidding me? Of course, I want to be there for those. But my little sister, she's going to be in school the day of her birthday, which sucks. But like, you know, I'm technically not missing anything, even though I still want to be there. But like, I, I intend on making up for everything I've missed when I get my chance you know what i mean um uh, another thing speaking of getting my chance i <laughs> i got an acting role 
I got accepted for an acting role for an independent uh, series. The only thing is that it's filmed in LA. So I was gonna try to do it because um, I do have ticket vouchers. Remember how the other day I was talking about how I was supposed to go to Vegas and I never did? Well, because I couldn't get refunds for the plane tickets, they gave me flight vouchers to use at whatever given time I want. So I was gonna use that, but then I would need housing and I would need transportation money while I'm in LA. And it was just like, I don't know. I really wanted to do it, but things just aren't working out like that right now. But that's going into what I was saying about my chance. Cause like, I do feel a shift where I feel more opportunities coming my way and stuff like that. And I'm welcoming them. I am very much so welcoming them. I am accepting them. I am, once again, for those who don't know, I'm Lauren Walters. I'm a model, dancer, singer, actress, painter, clothing designer, all that. I'm a creative. <laughs> but yeah, like I do feel shifts happening internally and externally and stuff but i am still very impatient and i still very much so want to be where i want to be right now i want to be wealthy i want to be kept i want to be content i want to be prosperous and abundant i am those things i know in my timeline of life i am those things but i'm looking for it right now i'm looking for my friends i'm looking for you <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> um, also, I just want to thank you guys again for being here. Um, something about talking to my camera and uploading it and seeing people actually watch it, even if it's just three views, five views, seven views, even if it's just one like, I still am so appreciative for any views and support I get because I don't know. Like I said, I just feel a shift happening and I'm I'm such a grateful person and I'm never too too proud to express gratitude and yeah, like I don't know, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for my best friend who has literally helped me through this whole year. If it was not for my best friend, I really don't know. I don't know. Her and food stamps have carried me through, child. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I am so grateful to still be here, to be growing the way I am. Y'all, when I say I have grown so much in the past year, like, the things I've become aware of, the things I've learned, the things I've changed, the things I've started to work on, the, all these things... If you talked to me a few years ago, I probably wouldn't have seen any error in my ways. There was a point in my life where I thought I was perfect, basically. Everybody should think they're that bitch. Everybody should think they're that girl, period. That's just that. But when, when it comes to being a good person, <laughs> some of us think we are and we're terrible. And my thing is, I didn't, I did think I was like one of the best people in living and walking, but I also expected everybody else to treat me that way, regardless of how I treated them. And I'm learning, like I've really learned and am learning so much and I'm learning the value of everything basically. Like I'm telling you that whole 25 frontal cortex fully developed thing is real because the things I have an understanding of now are things that when I was younger, my mom would tell me about and I'd be like, girl, please, like, I'm young in turn. I'm still young in turn, but I'm young in turn with more sense. I'm young in turn with uh, like a built in logic. You know what I mean? Like, I'm young in turn, but maybe we shouldn't do that. We as a me. <laughs> But yeah, like, I'm just very grateful. I think that's another reason my excitement has started to grow because I just want to celebrate. That is what birthdays are about for me, celebrating, making it to another year when so many people don't. And it's, it's really serious for me because people I know haven't made it to the age I am 
and people who I'm only aware of through social media and the entertainment and stuff like that have not made it to where I am. Either way, there are people who haven't made it to 25. There are people who don't have the chance to make it to 26. And I am so grateful. Like, like I said in one of the other video diaries, I am one of those people who I'm not necessarily afraid of death, but I do have a fear of not knowing. I have a fear. I like knowing things. I don't like being kept in the dark and stuff like that. And when it comes to death, we're all kept in the dark because literally none of us really know what happens after we die. There are people who have died and came back to life and stuff like that. But even still, that's not a universal fact. That's what they experienced. So it's just like you got to take it for what it is and understand that once we are gone, we're gone. And I, I don't really like that because <laughs> I love myself and I like being Lauren. And... Sometimes I forget that Lauren is not this body. She's just experiencing life in this body. And i um, grateful for another year. Grateful for my support system. And this is something I should, I'm going to make into a whole other video because I really do want to go in depth about it. But like, I have intentions for this new year that I'm entering because I feel like there are people in my life I have taken for granted and I have slighted because of my own struggles and stuff. And my thing is I'm one of the main people to be like, you never know what people are going through. So give them grace and stuff like that. But I don't know when it comes to me dealing with other people, I feel like I, I, I hold myself to a different standard. Cause I feel like, girl, you know how you feel. You should do this. You should do that. But like, like I definitely have friends who I've, neglected in a way and stuff like that and I genuinely feel like reconnecting those roots and you know repotting that plant and all that type of stuff will help me grow and help me help me you know and um I've also reached like a a level of understanding where for a long time like for the past two maybe one to two years I kept saying, I want to get back to the old me. I want to get back to the old me. I want to get back to the old me. But I don't. I don't. I want to become a new elevated version of myself. I want to be, uh, not reinvent myself, but new, uh, just another version of me. A uh, more aligned, elevated version of myself. Y'all, I'm so sorry. My nose is very itchy. There's fur on my hand and there's fur flying everywhere. Well, all this fuzzy stuff and carpet around, it's in a cat, it is very difficult. But um, yeah, I, I'm taking things for what they are. I'm learning, I'm growing, and I don't wanna be, I don't wanna go back to the old me. Because when I look back at old versions of myself, I love all of them, but there are things with each and every single one that I don't agree with present presently and things that I wouldn't put up with and things that I would have did differently and stuff like that. So I don't want to be the old me. I just want to be a better version of me. And um, I'm looking forward to a new version of me. I love reinventing myself. I'm one of those people where I have so many different aspects of myself and so many different facets to me that reinventing me is just showing a different side reinventing myself is just me showing things that I didn't show before or wanted to but was too hesitant to or have shown in little bits and pieces but this part of me was taking more of a shine at this time but I'm a multifaceted mommy I'm a multi-niche mommy I have so many parts of me that I still have yet to show and are I'm starting to show or regardless of what it may be oh my god I keep I'm just gonna try to not touch my nose so today I, I just woke up with a different energy. Um, oh my God, I said I wasn't gonna touch my nose. I woke up with a different energy, a different um, mindset. I'm looking forward to Friday, I'm looking forward to Saturday. Now I have to figure out what I'm gonna be wearing those two days, but actually no, I know what I'm wearing Saturday. But yeah, y'all, I am living and that's all you could ask for right but yeah i don't know i'm, I'm just smiling and, sh and stuff like what's going on with me but yeah y'all um 
I don't really have much else to say. Now, at least not that I could think of. And I don't know. I I I, did, I genuinely just have a different attitude. And I let me just say, I hope this continues till Sunday, because Sunday everything done. Back to regularly scheduled programming. But yeah, y'all. Um. I hope you have a good day. And you know what else I peep yesterday, and I think the day or the diary before that, I didn't do my outro. And yesterday when I was editing my video, I wanted to add it in, but I'm like, girl, just get him next time. Oh my gosh, did y'all see the freaking the blind side is fake? Ciao. I don't know what I would do. I would sue them, but I don't know what I would do. Mm -mm -mm. Well, anyway, y'all, <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. Um, Sun is shining. I hope you'll get you some sun. I love you. I hope you love you. You better. You better love yourself. And I hope you love me. But if you don't love me, baby, that is quite all right. It's Leo season and I am one of them. And I love me enough for everybody in the world. Three days to my birthday. Day 15 of Highs and Lows Video Diaries. I'm, yeah. Peace, y'all.